Hey everyone. So in my last lecture, I talked about orthogonal matrices and some of the properties of orthogonal matrices. And after seeing that lecture, some of my students asked me, "Sir, why this matrices? That means the matrices satisfying this condition are called as orthogonal matrices? Because and their question was obvious because what they studied about orthogonality that when the two vectors have their dot product zero, then we call those two vectors as orthogonal." but then there i didn't talk anything about the dot product equal to 0 so therefore their question was obvious so in this lecture i will tell you what is the connection between the column vectors and the row vectors of a matrix to be precise we will see that the column vectors of the orthogonal matrix are always orthogonal that means what if you take the dot product of this two column vector then that will always be 0 similarly if i take the dot product of the row vectors that will also be zero okay moreover the length of the column vectors and the length of the row vectors is always equal to 1 now what do you mean by length if i have a vector say ab ab is my vector then how do you define the length of this vector ab it is nothing but square root of a square plus b square we will see that length of the column vectors and the length of the row vectors is always 1 for the orthogonal matrix so to prove this fact let's go one by one so let me prove this for a 2 cross 2 matrix and then we will go for an n cross n matrix so let's try to get the feel with a 2 cross 2 matrix now what is a into a transpose if you do this multiplication this is a11 a12 a21 a22 and here you have a11 a12 A two one, A two two. Now, what is this product? This is nothing but if you observe, A one one square plus A one two square, A one one, A two one plus A one two, A two two. And here you have A two one, A one one plus A two two, A one two. And the last entry is A two one square plus A two two square. And what is this equal to? This is equal to one zero zero one because we are assuming that your matrix A is an orthogonal matrix okay now if you equate the entries what does this entry says it says a11 square plus a12 square is 1 that means what a, this row vector has length 1 because this is equal to 1 that means what square root of a11 square okay so let me write it down a11 square plus a12 square is 1 so if i take the square root it still remains 1 because square root of 1 is 1 Similarly, this entry implies a two one square plus a two two square is equal to one. That means this row vector is also of length one. So for orthogonal matrices, row vectors always have length one. Okay, so that's the first point. Now, what does this entry imply? If you look this carefully, this entry is nothing but if I take a one one comma a one two dot product with a two one. A two two, right? A one one. What is the dot product? This into this plus this into this, and this is coming out to be zero. But what is this? This is one way of writing, or uh, this is nothing but A one one, A one two dot product with A two one, A two two, and this is coming out to be zero. But what is this? This is nothing but my first row vector. What is this? This is nothing but my second row vector. So this implies that. this dot product is zero that means row vectors are orthogonal to each other right so for uh, orthogonal matrices we just now proved that row vectors are orthogonal and the norm or the length of the row vector is always one now how will you prove for the column vectors well one way is you do this a transpose into a is equal to identity since is orthogonal a into a transpose is also identity a transpose a into a is also identity so if you do this calculation the same thing you will get the length of column vectors equal to 1 and the dot product of the column vectors is equal to 0 but then if you see my previous lecture link is there in the description that if a is an orthogonal matrix its transpose is also orthogonal matrix So now, since this is orthogonal, its transpose is also orthogonal, right? So what is the transpose? A11, A12, A21, A22. Now this is orthogonal. Therefore, I know that the row vectors 
have the dot product zero but means this vector and this vector has dot product zero but this is nothing but the column vector so here the dot product is zero of row vector but here they are nothing but the column vectors therefore column vectors have dot product zero and here also the length of the row vector are one but the here the row vectors are nothing but here column vectors so therefore the length of column vector is also one okay so there are two ways either you go by this way and you do all the calculation or you be little bit smart and use that property that if a is orthogonal its transpose is also orthogonal okay so now this for was for a two cross two matrix now question is how will you write down for a n cross n matrix okay so you should be able to write down the things nicely so let's write down the things for an n cross n matrix so suppose if my matrix a is nothing but a1 a2 up to an so what are these? This is nothing but my column vectors. A1 is the first column, A2 is the second column, An is the nth column. Okay. Now we did for row right now. Now let's do for column. Okay. So suppose if I take A transpose into A. Now what is this? This is A1, A2 up to An. It's transpose A1, A2 up to An. So here A1 is a column, but here what is the row? A1 transpose because a1 is a column its transpose becomes a row so here the first row is a1 transpose here the first column is a1 okay so it's a column if i mean if you like bar notation you can put bar at the top so now if i do multiplication what is the first row into first column what is first row a1 transpose so this is a1 transpose into a1 first row is a1 transpose second column is a2 so this is a1 transpose a2 then a1 transpose a3 up to a1 transpose a n what is the second row over here a2 transpose so a2 transpose into a1 a2 transpose a1 a2 transpose a2 a2 transpose a3 up to a2 transpose a n similarly my last row is a n transpose so a n transpose into a1 up to a n transpose into a n and what is this? This is equal to my identity matrix 1, 1, 1 and rest all other entries are 0. So this is what I have. Now if you observe what is this A1 transpose A1? What is A1 transpose A2? See observe one thing. If u is my vector column vector n cross 1 then u dot v is a number. <coughs> u dot v is same as to say you take u transpose into v. If u is an n cross 1 vector, what is u transpose? 1 cross n. This is 1 cross n. This is n cross 1. So what is the product? Product is a 1 cross 1 entry. And actually this is equal to u dot v. Okay, if you don't trust me, you take u as u1, u2 up to un. You take v as v1, v2 up to vn. Take the dot product. Take this multiplication. You always get the same answer. So dot product is nothing but matrix multiplication. Okay, so that's one thing. So here if you observe what I'm getting a1 dot a1 is equal to 1. So if you observe here carefully, my a1 dot a1, a1 dot product with a1 is 1, a2 dot a2 is also 1, an dot an is also 1. That means ai dot ai is 1 for all i equal to 1 to n. That means a1 dot a1 means I'm taking the dot product with itself. So what is a1 dot a1? a1 dot a1. If my a1 is if you say a11 is the first column, right? a11, a21 up to a n1 dot product with a11, a21 up to a n1. And what is this? This is nothing but a11 square plus a22 square plus a n1 square, which is nothing but the length of the vector. So we are proving that this proves that by equating the diagonal entries you are proving that length of the column vectors is always equal to 1. And what does this imply? First column and second column dot product is 0. First column with third product, third column dot product is 0. First column with nth column dot product is 0. Second column with third column, second column with nth column. So this entries implies that the columns, they are pairwise orthogonal. So this we proved for column vectors. Now, since if A is orthogonal, A transpose is also orthogonal. So now whatever is true for 
columns over here when you take the transpose columns becomes rows and therefore the things are true for row vectors as well so whenever you have an orthogonal matrix keep this thing in mind the length of the row vectors and the length of the column vectors is always one and if you take any two column vectors or you take any two row vectors their dot product is always zero so i hope you understood the notion of orthogonality and orthogonal matrices if yes do not forget to like share and subscribe thank you